This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Hey guys, it is the Indie Mayhem Show. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here alone as usual. These days, it's Sorgatron Media in Pittsburgh, PA, socially distancing ourselves from so much. And that's why here on Thursday nights, we've been uh, doing our kind of quarantine hangout for the Indie Mayhem show in lieu of uh, uh, the usual interviews. Because that feels kind of weird right now, because there's hard to promote upcoming events with the current situation. But we got a crew with us, uh, um, all representing tonight Prospect Pro Wrestling, actually. Uh, that you can see over at IndieWrestling.us. First of all, he is, I believe, the inventor of the pasta death match. Chess Flexor is with us. That is a fact. I invent pasta matches. I, I invent all kinds of things that we cannot talk about on here and things that we will talk about on here. So. Yeah, there's that too. There's that too. Also with us, uh, just going around the line, Professor Ryan Dye returns to the show. Hello. Uh, I've invented things as well. It's not as impressive as the pasta death match, but it's it's pretty good. You know, not many people have been killed by it. You know, stuff. <laughs> and then also, I believe a first timer on any of our mayhem shows, Zach Rain, has joined us. Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> Fantastic. How are you guys doing? How are you guys holding up? So far, we are I the weeks into this uh, at this point. <laughs> so I mean, I'm pretty sure none of us are going into the yellow zone at the end of the uh, uh, the week here in Pennsylvania. It doesn't look nah, like most likely. No, no. no. <laughs> so how how have you guys been passing the time here? I, I know um, the biggest thing uh, two PWs. You guys. The, the the back chat has been uh, really interesting, and one of the things that's been helping my sanity. Um, seeing what you guys get into uh, over over the last uh, uh, few weeks. Um, for instance, this weekend it, it seemed like it, it got into crafting projects a little bit. It, it's it's I, I I I feel like there's some wrestling home HGTV uh, uh, action going on here. What what the heck happened this weekend? Everybody's reached the point where they literally have run out of things that they thought were fun to do. So now we're all turning into responsible adults, which is very unusual for this group. <laughs> Speak for yourself, sir. Uh, Weren't you building a deck, or was that Xander? That was Xander. Oh, my bad. Yeah, there was like so, somebody staining something. I, I think uh, Zach, you said you were. So, oh, somebody just started their computer. Um, Zach, I think you were working on a cornhole. Uh, Bigfoot. A big yeah, foot Sas- cornhole. Sasquatch themed cornhole boards. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. That. Sounds gross, whatever that means. What, what is a cornhole board? You've never seen... Are, you're from Pennsylvania, right? I don't know, am I? <laughs> you've never it's seen... Like, you've, laboratory mo- you've never seen the, the boards the boards with the, the hole in it and they throw bean bags back and forth. Usually people are severely intoxicated. Like, <laughs> Oh, I've, I've seen that. Is there another just... name for it? Is there something else? <laughs> I've only known it as cornhole, and let's get. What can we come up with another name for cornhole? Let's come up with something right now. <laughs> oh, no, is it, is it uh, reinvent? It's like reinventing the wheel, but we're reinventing the whole of the corn. <laughs> I think that's. I think that's just remarketing if we're not actually building stuff. Mm-hmm. What if it just like tossy get drunky? Is that like the, the preschool version <laughs> of it, or the what is the? Isn't that also beer pong? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> let's, let's call it group tossing. Everyone likes that. Sack canoodling. Just... Sack canoodling. <laughs> Perfect. Um, yeah, I, I feel like I've only seen it here and in Michigan, maybe? So, oh, God. like, no, no, I've definitely seen it in Nebraska. So, this, it's gone around, and they have corn. Like they're big on the corn out there. They're, they're, well, they're, the beanbags actually had corn in them at one time. I I learned that by accident while I was looking up dimensions for the thing. <laughs> wait, wait. So, so wait, wait. <laughs> did you did you they, did you fall down the cornhole? Uh, 
You the rabbit a, hole? You found a yeah. cornhole hole? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's this, is not, great. Not, this is not the direction I thought this was going to go tonight. Professor Ryan Dye, how many holes have you fallen into? Uh, well, uh, my underground laboratory is technically in a hole, and I've you know been in there and out of there many a time. Uh, I fall into a lot of ditches in the middle of the night when I'm night digging. You know, when you dig holes at night to bury stuff. Uh, well, this one time in the desert, uh, jet engine turned on unexpectedly, blew me into a hole. And uh, how many sand. sacks? How We're many up sacks to five. Have you tossed into a hole. I mean, wait, does a body bag count as a sack? Yes. Have you have you tossed a sack into the sack, into the hole of a sack into a sack? What's the, what's the like, what? Inception. Is that he tossed the, he, you he live tossed on a, a sack, sack into a hole that's in a sack, in a he, sack, in a hole. He lives on a cul de sac. It's okay. You're going to have to finish your run on sentence before I can figure out what the hell you're talking about. Wait, wait. Okay. okay so let's say there's a sack in a hole, and in that sack okay. is a hole that you're tossing a sack into. So, like, uh, there's a sack with a hole in a hole. And then I toss a sack in that hole. No, the sack is in a hole. Right, and on. in that sack is a hole that you're tossing a sack into. Can we put a diagram up? Where, where, I'm, where I'm, drawing, your, I'm drawing one as we speak. So you're throwing... where your trash, Where's your trash bag pants that you could draw on, Professor Ryan? Uh, I mean, your whiteboard pants that you could draw on. I destroyed those right after our match. It, it those are... Don't you usually have a, a dry erase board with you? I know you've yelled at me for standing on it before. Is it like this? Is that like... <laughs> oh, we have visuals now. <laughs> is that close, Flexer? I actually, that is actually pretty close. I actually do have a, That's almost. I do uh, have a giant dry race board that I could hang on this, but uh, it's in my lab. Yeah, uh, we don't want the. Uh, don't don't pull that down. We know, we know what's behind it. Yeah, we don't want to reveal that. We're only. Uh... <laughs> we yeah. it's, a, it's a PG show. Yeah, Professor yeah. Ryan Dye, tell everybody what your first match was in professional wrestling. My first public match was a tiki death match against one uh, chest flexor. Oh, I heard about this. I, uh, oh, uh, no, you don't. Uh, in front of a crowd of hundreds, you know, waiting to go to intermission, uh, our match happened. And I had a whole plan. I drew it on my pants using dry erase marker. First, I couldn't find the marker. One of the uh, new boys... Uh, hit it in the wrong turnbuckle. Made me look dumb. I hate that kid. Uh, so I drew a match plan on my pants. And then I was supposed to erase that later. It didn't erase. It was just a mess. Got rid of those. I blame chest flexor. Listen. He threw me onto the chrome. Every failure in your life you could probably blame me for. Except for that. Uh, what was that incident that happened in um, uh, Squirrel Hill? You have to be more specific. The Squirrel Hill incident that, that you caused? That was not me. You keep <laughs> suggesting it was, but it wasn't. That's what I heard. Mm. Okay. We well, hear a lot of stupid things. And you repeat them too. What happened in Squirrel Hill? You didn't really, hear about nothing. <laughs> I really I would re I'd really like to know about this. <laughs> is it is it is it appropriate for the in the uh the wrestling mayhem show? I think it's as long really as the not. feds aren't listening. <laughs> 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 so basically every phone call with Bronco I've ever had. Perfect. Yeah. Might be a bit worse. <laughs> <laughs> no. So speaking speaking of odd incidents, we were we were kind of talking beforehand about um some some uh interesting heel moments. I know Zach, you said you had a six month stint and then in that time already did like maybe one of the worst things possible in your career. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so I did something that Robert Downey Jr. is currently getting some heat for, which... Oh, is he? In hindsight, yeah, because apparently 12-year-olds are now just seeing Tropic Thunder for the first time. Oh, no. Oh, and they, they, they're they upset about uh, his portrayal as well as the uh, use of the R word. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but that was like, what, 15 years ago, right? Like, rhetoric? rhetoric? Yeah, rhetoric, yes, rhetoric. rugrat. Yeah. 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 But yeah, no, no. So I, uh, I, I, it was a different time and, uh, I used the R word by accident mm. and then, uh, made someone cry and, and felt extremely bad and had to jump through hoops 
to uh, try to make it right. That it was all right. It worked out. Kid was cool. All right. I'm trying to. You said the R word. I'm trying to think of objectionable things that Robert Downey Jr. did in that movie. He did a couple objectionable things in that movie. Uh, he uh, don't you he dare did something with his complexion. Uh, did you do that too? No, definitely not. No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> There was no time where that was appropriate. <laughs> uh, professor, what's what's the what's the craziest thing you've done so far to uh, uh, in, in your stint? Because I think you you've been mostly um, well yelling at the fans, right? Right. Uh, I mostly yell at the fans. Uh, every once in a while, I reach into the crowd and like tip off their hat so it lands on some unfortunate child. That's fun. Uh, they yell at me for that. One time, and I feel bad about this because it might have cost me a T-shirt sale. But other than that, one time, a uh, That's fan came measure. up to me. He was trying to <laughs> hang, as the kids say, try and talk some smack, try and get up in my grill. And uh, uh, he asked about the T-shirts, and I have to mention, oh, hey, this one's a uh, you know, 2XL, if that's large enough for you. Oh. And as he turned away, his head hanging, I kind of yelled, don't worry about it. Body shaming's my gimmick, and it didn't help, and he did not buy a T-shirt. So I feel bad about that one. Aww. I don't know. I can. You I guarantee gotta... you it's not the worst thing Flexer ever did, but it's the first time I ever saw him was pooping into a frying pan. <laughs> Wait, I never pooped into a frying pan. No, but you were, weren't you in, the, you were in the background? Were you? I was the cameraman. Okay, I, I was also the, the guy who came up with the... With the uh, the premise of right. you know what we should do to describe these professional wrestling fans we should do a psa there was a old psa that was on tv way back when probably most of these kids before they were born where they would take an egg break it into a frying pan this is your brain this is your brain on drugs yada 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 so we had an egg threw it into a frying pan boom this is your brain and then somebody took a poop into the frying pan and then held it to the camera and said, and this is the brain of a professional wrestling fan, which we stand by today. All of us on this video call right now (laughs) stand by that today. You can't speak for us. He was a, he was another talented bald gentleman. That's right. I I know. I didn't know. I remember. He was a delicious bald gentleman. (laughs) All right. PSA stands for public service announcement. How exactly did you service the public by pooping into a frying pan? Listen, I didn't service the public like you do. But we let them know that that professional (laughs) wrestling fans' brains are like a steaming, sizzling, frying pile of poo-poo. Chico. After nine concussions, I feel like my brain is a pile of poop. Wait, are you a fan of professional wrestling? I I mean, (laughs) at one time. Stands true. Look at that. No. Bob's your uncle. I hate professional wrestling. (laughs) Well, I mean, wrestling's uh, the worst. The fans also think that after they watch some of your matches. So I told somebody. You're involved in about half of them. I told told somebody this. I think I was on another podcast um, a couple of nights ago. I don't remember which one this was, but uh, they were talking about like the meanest things like that, like, you had to go, oh, God, I have to get better. Like when you were early on in your career. And I remember a fan posted somewhere that uh, every time I watch Zachary and wrestle, I feel like someone owes me a free pizza and a soda. <laughs> I was just like, oh, my God. It's a weird, specific, like, like we, owe try- him, we owe him something for having to have watched me. That's that definitely uh, that that struck a chord. <laughs> is that why 2PW always provides pizzas in the back? Because you guys all have the, to, yeah, we have to. Because you have to be on the same show as me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, Hale Bradley's in the in the chat room, of course. Oh, Christ. <laughs> uh, I, we miss you, Bradley. We miss you. Well, some of us miss you. Uh, he says, Ryan put some. I'm machine- not going to accept your friend's request. No. I'm just not. Leave me alone. I, f- I must be getting soft in, in my. In my uh, quarantining because I've accepted way more friend requests lately and I probably shouldn't. I'll regret those in like a week. Uh, but uh, uh, Bradley says Ryan put a mach- some machine on his head and, his, and, and it hurt his mind at one point. I, when was that? Uh, 
oh yeah uh it was uh right around when uh i just got started uh i kept showing up to uh iwc shows sneaking in and they kept not putting me in matches mm. so during intermission i would just zap people with stuff and uh yeah i tried to suck all the brains out of bradley's head but didn't exactly work you, you can guess why the joke is he has no brains. That's the joke. You're welcome. It it all comes together. All comes around. Uh, Chess, I think you were telling us another story uh, before we were starting the show too about another time that. You oh yeah, incident. I got so I hard. Mean, Wait, what are we talking what? about? No, not that one. The uh, other no. story. <laughs> the other story. That's, that's when a, we that's were. That's, that one was about his workout regimen. Everything's yeah. fine here. Yeah, that's right. right. My muscles were swelling. <laughs> I was, uh, so I was tasked with the duty to pick up the steel cage that IWC bought years and years ago. I traveled up to Ohio with Dave Demira, former IWC superstar. Mm -hmm. And this one other guy, David Red, who looked identical to Dave Demira. Actually, if you could probably say they're one and the same likeness wise. But anyway, so we went up there to pick up this cage at this event at a Quaker Steak and Lube out in the parking lot. So yeah. while we were up there, they said, hey, you guys, do you have your wrestling gear with you? And of course we did because we were, you know, smart like that. Always bring your bag. So they said, two of our guys got stuck at the border. Would you like to be in a six-man tag team match? We did, obviously. So the match happened, and out in the crowd, there was this little... Son of a son of a gun, who obviously, if you watch the PSA video that we put out, his brains looked exactly like what was in that frying pan. He was telling uh, me I was horrible, I was a piece of garbage. He was using words that I would not use in front of my mother, and I've said all kinds of things to my mother and in front of her. I told that little brat that he was a dirty freaking soulless ginger because he was a redhead. <laughs> And he started, <laughs> oh, his eyes started welling up. He was crying. And lo and behold, his mother was there to save the day. So she gets up right on the ring apron. She's reaching in the ring. You bastard. Don't say that to my son. How dare you apologize to him? I say, it's not my fault. He's a soulless ginger. And if you want to get in this ring, go ahead. I shushed her aside. I spread the ropes open, held him up because I'm a gentleman. And I said, get in here and I'll give you the beating that your husband should have a long time ago. And there's a video of that. I, I'd have to find it on YouTube. But there is video of it. And uh, she did not get in the ring, but she wanted to. She was actually being held back by some guy. I'm sure it wasn't her husband. Probably the side projects that she has. Sorry for him. He probably got three STDs and not the ones that matter. Myself, Corey Futuristic, and... I mean, who else is in the STDs anymore? Where's Billy Ruxpin, Brian McDowell, Gary Larry Lee Rines? What happened to Andrew Palace? Who knows? But anyway, yeah, so I, I made fun of this little redheaded kid. He bawled his eyes out. He probably, hopefully, not hopefully, I mean, he probably killed himself. I'm sorry. It, it shouldn't mm -hmm. have happened to a better person. But, you know, Wait. that's just, that's what happens whenever you get into a verbal altercation with Chess Flexor. Right, Ryan Die? Where's your news? Yeah, so Sometimes you uh, you chew out a ginger and the ginger snaps. Exactly. You know. So tell us, what kind of porn do you have in your house right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, since I have the entirety of my internet on this, it's all uh, hand. It's yeah, all hand -drawn. Drawn. <laughs> Is that a calculator? It's all. Yes, he I types have the entire in internet on this eight zero zero eight and gets off on boobs or boob, whatever. Yes. <laughs> Listen, I I like numbers. Okay. What's your favorite number? Nine. Why? Oh, uh, mostly because of the old trick where uh, you know any multiple of nine, you add up all the uh, different integers, and it becomes a multiple of nine. Like eighty-one is one and eight, and that's nine. I like that. It's so easy. Hilarious. It's just so. It's really. It's not really. It's just hilarious. It's just what nice. happened on Squirrel Hill? What happened on Squirrel <laughs> yeah. Hill, Professor? We're not talking about the squirrels or the hill. Okay? That's... Is that the number nine in Egypt? Is that the... His... <laughs> Actually, the is number that, nine uh, is... Hieroglyphic German. number nine. <laughs> I also... <laughs> 
So Zach, this is <laughs> go ahead, Jess. What what can I do for you? If you had to sum up your friendship with Bronco McBride in two words, what would those two words be? Self-destructive. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Okay. <laughs> Sounds about right. I think it, hey, sorry, how, I thought this was is, your is, show. Is, is one is one sided? Is that is that two words or one? <laughs> I'd say it's one. <laughs> If the if the Rev Ron Hunt came with a warning label, what would it say? That's for all three of you. Oh my god! <laughs> War- warning: late for show. No. <laughs> well, that was gonna be mine. Uh, put on last. I don't know. What is it? Well, I that sounds put, like a compliment. I keep telling him that he needs to get a T-shirt that says uh, "Ron Hunt uh, arrive last, wrestle last." But he won't do it. <laughs> I mean, that only works if he actually wrestles last that night. I mean, it's it's often. Oh well, yeah. And again, po- he's like poopy brains. No one will know the difference. They'll just buy the shirt, right? Again, I have a pair of wrestling so tights. I have so a pair of wrestling. Who buy tights. your shirts backfires? You have a pair of wrestling tights that has a frying pan with an egg on them. Do you really? Mm-hmm. Yes. That's amazing. I feel like I've seen them. Well, I'm sure you watch all my matches, so I'm sure you have. The first time I ever met you, do you remember that? I think that it. I think it. Was, of course, I do. <laughs> was it? It was at five. I think yeah. it was at five. It was star. at five star. And I knew that, like, I had. I felt like I already knew you through like Bronco, but like obviously I'd never met you in person. But I, I remember before I even saw him, they did the old tabletop thing. They pushed me over the guy leaning down, and I think you were the guy kneeling behind me, right? Could have been. That's, that's, that sounds like a memory that I have. Uh, Bradley, I just remember, I remember tripping, almost falling down, and realizing who it was. And like I was really mad at first, and then I went, "Oh, I I already know what he's all about." I was like, "Hey, it's nice to meet you, Jess." Uh, uh, Bradley and has afterwards. Bradley has a uh, a rev warning in the chat room. Will claim to be your father. That's that's true. Zeke Mercer Zeke Mercer has been trying to disprove that one for like three years. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, the, them being like booked on every card together uh, doesn't help things. Well, and Rev tells everybody he's forty-two years old. <laughs> he's, he's twenty-seven, <laughs> mind you. Yeah. What is he? Is that that's the hot news dropping tonight? Sorry, Rev. <laughs> Your secret's out. You're, you're actually young. Yes, I think, and he's um, is he officially is he is he over the Rona by now? Is that is the two week period up? I, I know he's posted. I know he's he's making TikToks like nothing happened right now. I I just talked to him, okay. and I'm sure he doesn't mind if I say this, but he said that he should resume normal working and goings about like in a week. He said so. Rev everywhere again. Yeah, basically. Okay. News, wrestling, Ring of Honor. <laughs> Exactly. Make, make, making 10,000 videos of me beating him up and making it look like like all I do is assault black dudes like all day <laughs> long. Him and, between him and Zeke, I swear to god I have I've been shown no less than like 15 of those dancing African funeral videos. Yes. <laughs> I'm like how how am I in so many of these? <laughs> You you weren't I don't were you in I think it was the match they had earlier because the the one that still blows my mind was when Zeke gets chopped and just like hangs for a minute before I was stand, I was standing on the floor right behind them you were um, on the floor. I I was I was still sick it was that was that was the week after I blacked out in the title tournament right. in the ring right and so, so Bronco replaced me in the match so I was standing right next to the ring but I was not in the match. <laughs> <laughs> So I was still in the video, though. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Uh, so, so, so. Otherwise, how how are you guys? You know, are, are, have you discovered any other than um um making cornhole? Have you guys uh, discovered any new hobbies? Uh, Chess, I know you've been um trying to ski a little bit. Uh, I can't ski whenever you know there's no snow. But yeah. luckily for us, we're gonna get about you know six feet of snow in the next couple of weeks. There so. you go. There's some powder. Uh, when are you coming out to Seven Springs with me, Sorg? Whatever. We were supposed to do this over this winter, weren't we? We were. 
actually the winter got cut short yeah i was up there last week and they were open and that was uh the same day as uh, the last iwc event Mm -hmm. i was up there spent the night and then everything got shut down like everything was pretty much getting shut down the week before that but we were like yeah we'll still try uh listen i've never skied before um I, i i don't know i may have ice skated when i was like eight uh, so, so if you'll, if you can, if you can show me, if you can show me how to do it on the, on the bunny hill, uh, Chasta, then I'm all up for it. Here's my best advice that I tell anybody. If you're going down the hill and you haven't fallen over yet and you're not at the bottom, then you're doing fine. Okay. Just keep going and worry about stopping whenever you get to the bottom. Who cares? Who cares? Uh, I, mean, I didn't know how to stop until like two seasons in. Okay. I mean, I don't pizza. And french fudge. fry. I just say fudge it and go for it. That advice works until you run headfirst into a tree like uh, Sonny Bono or Michael Schumacher. I actually, ran, there's a video of it. I ran into a uh, snowmaker and I, well, it was either snowmaker or, yeah, it was a snowmaker. I, I like split nutted the uh, snowmaker. Mm. I'll show you that. I'll send you the video, Professor Ryan. Uh, you can watch it whenever you're watching those other videos that you got there behind that. <laughs> <laughs> I do like to see people in pain. So, what is it I'm missing out with skiing? Like, what, what, what is um? I, I, and I just watched like a what, what was the one downhill or something with uh, Will Ferrell a couple weeks ago. That was about just kind of tumbling family uh, relationships, though, more than snow uh, skiing. Skiing's about ruining relationships. <laughs> Skiing's listen, and th- this might sound weird, but once you do it, and I know I so the first time I ever went skiing, I took a ski lesson. With Marshall Gambino on Valentine's Day, we took a ski lesson together. Oh, just how, him and I. How sweet! Marshall will tell you this too. It's it's the most peaceful, yet it, it's like peaceful and exhilarating. It's 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 like the best of both worlds because you're out there all on your own, and you're also like doing some like it's it, it's an extreme sport. You can do it peacefully, but like you're out there trying to like go as fast as you can. I've gone down a hill. There's an app on the phone you could get it's called called Snow Tracks or Ski Tracks or something like that. There's a bunch of apps, but it'll track like how many how many times you go up and down the hill, how fast you're going, the altitude, the the vertical degree, and stuff like that. The fastest I've ever went was like 52 miles an hour something. So imagine just standing on two sticks going 52 miles an hour down the hill, hoping you don't die. It sounds very peaceful. It does. It is. Just, but it's just all, like it's you like, described it. You're just by yourself. You're in the zone. And it's so like, it's relaxing. And it's also like an adrenaline rush at the same time. I think every wrestler has like a weird non-aggressive hobby. Not weird. Like there's nothing weird about skiing. But like every wrestler has like that other thing they do to unwind. Like flexor skis. I go longboarding. Dime hangs out on grinder and makes friends. Uh whatever it is ryan died, died does. weird shit like what's yours what's your what's your what's your non-wrestling like i'm not gonna hurt myself hobby squirrel hill tell them about it that's <laughs> no we're not talking about squirrel hill that's not a thing we can't talk about it because squirrel hill doesn't exist squirrel hill's gone have you been after to squirrel hill you did, after what you did up there it's pretty much gone You're the fbi the fbi is going to be on next week's show Oh, Lord. Yes, Nunzio and uh, <laughs> uh, Tracy Smothers uh, and, Mamba, Tracy and Mambo. And Mambo. God bless. Hey, can I can I inter intervect here? Inter, inter intervene. Everybody that yes. can. I know everybody's in a in a weird situation right now. But Tracy Smothers, mm-hmm. he's suffering from cancer. He's hopefully going to get through this. But they're also they're taking up a collection, GoFundMe, and all that stuff. If you have. 50 cents or a dollar or whatever the minimum is even donate to Tracy Smothers. He's an amazing guy. The last time I saw him was up at AIW. I walked in the locker room wearing a shirt. I'm just going to quote the shirt. Sorg, don't cut me okay. off here. It's, okay. a, it's a shirt that says, fuck you, Flexer. I walk up to Tracy Smothers. He looks at me. He says, fuck you, Flexor. And then he just busts out laughing. And he gives me a big hug. And I, <laughs> I love Tracy Smothers. He's an amazing guy. Everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. If you can help Tracy Smothers out, help him out. Find the link to his GoFundMe on my Facebook page. Chess Flexor, Facebook, 
YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all the above. Okay, now you're just using Tracy Smothers to promote your own stuff. And that seems what did you use Squirrel Hill for? That was your, <laughs> your agenda. <laughs> Nothing. I want to know you don't so talk much. about Squirrel Hill. I want to know so much more about real. this. Uh, so, Ryan, hey. you, go ahead. This is completely off subject, but I've been getting 10,000 questions about it as if I know the guys, which I don't. Um, wh- the whole revolt thing. The revival. You, like, the, isn't that the, the revival? I like, has, that. like, they, like, copyright, like, another tag team's name or something. Again? Did you see that? Wait, 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 wait. First the Reaper, now this? Yeah, so the revolt, which, like, like obviously have been, like, really getting big lately. Like, uh, they're, like, holding, like, four sets of tag straps they're like what all over, all over the planet and they just got their name like copyright right out from underneath <laughs> where do they I, i'm not familiar with the, this team um well, well, revival you, again if, but but where are these guys usually wrestling out of uh, dude all over the place like really? um in england all over the east coast um if you if you look them up the second you see their picture you're gonna know exactly who they are okay no, no it's all revival right now <laughs> Yeah, right. Because like, it's all over the news. So, so I, yeah, and that's the only reason I said anything is like I'm like this is like the fourth time this has happened this month. Like yeah. that's the new the new cool thing. Because the other one was the Reaper, uh, Matt Connard, uh, Sean Spears, and then I love their the, and I didn't realize like was it a remix or something that they're completely on the same show. So it's like like the connection is there, and of course you know it, it's get your chest flexor is obviously copywritten because that's your your real name your real christian name chess flexor it's actually chester flexorian yeah close enough. real real fans know that sword yes <laughs> <laughs> well no one knew that because you have who's, no real fans who's who's nicholas crynock <laughs> says it right down here at what? the bottom <laughs> well that's not supposed to show up <laughs> that's not real <laughs> have you looked at your screen yet <laughs> It's, it's not on alias. my screen. It's an alias. It just, it just says you. Wait, hold on. Nick Krynock is dead. He's buried in Squirrel Hill. <laughs> he paws. Son of a bitch. Prayers to Krynock. <laughs> it's a good thing this isn't live, so Sor can edit this out. Yep. Somebody call somebody call Mama Krynock. Let her know what happened. <laughs> her baby boy. Absolutely. <laughs> this is so stupid. Uh, so I mean, is that is that a thing? It, 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 when when people come up with their name through wrestling school, is is the new role going to be like, hey, get that thing trademarked? At this point, you know, this seems to be happening uh, uh, more and more. I think it's becoming more important to do so. Honestly, yeah. that was like th- there was like a huge discussion on like a bunch of like the worker pages and stuff mm-hmm. about that. About like if you if you have something legitimately good, you may want to start worrying about it. Yeah. So I'm safe, but uh, STDs you might wanna you might wanna work get that one taken care of. That one's still clever. Shoot. I love telling Thanks. people that have no concept of indie wrestling about that. Like, oh yeah, there's this team that the STDs they were on the show. I, I was telling them about the walk off with the runway the other night, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. my mother goes, the, "Wait, the the what? Like, the STD? Oh wait, no, it's it means sexy talented dudes." And she's like. <sighs> I don't think I like wrestling. I said, "Yeah, I know, mom." I usually say it with <laughs> no, I usually, it does. I usually say the STDs pause for reaction. The sexy, talented dudes. The good thing about this uh, is I can just go pee in the middle of it and stay on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I was told specifically I wasn't supposed to use the restroom there. Oh, well, now I was. Just let it go. Just let it go. All right, you're pooping in a frying pan. You're peeing in the middle of uh, he's of also a podcast. He's he's peeing into a coffee pot as we speak. I should have peed. I should have turned the camera around onto the mirror and just peed onto the mirror so I could have urinated <laughs> on every single one of you. <laughs> you know, I, I I like having flexor on on between this and I think the watch along too. I'm get, we get a tour of his. There it goes. Gotta flush. Gonna, better wash your hands. That's what I'm about to do right now. Wait. Oh, um, no. Balance this. Oh, no. <laughs> what is that? There you go. I hope you drop your phone into the we sink. Sing, we can sing happy birthday or... Twice. You got to sing it twice. Or your or, or the first verse of your theme song. I you have to sing it twice. Happy birthday <laughs> to the people that Ryan died, blah, 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 and Squirrel Hill. Happy birthday we don't about that. to... <laughs> they took this oh, off. Oh, no. 
No, it's it's a guy washing his hands in a sink. Stop being a pervert. Oh. oh. See? Is that me? Yeah. Did you just take a screenshot? <laughs> I just drew it real quick. I'm working on my art skills during the quarantine. This is the worst show ever <laughs> of all time. <laughs> well, we're not. There was no subject matter. We're just being ridiculous. Wait, should I floss and brush my teeth right now too? Do a full <laughs> like. Do you go to bed at eight thirty at night? Yeah, I do, Sonny. What time do you go to bed? I can't say anything. They, Bronco calls me old man Zach because, like, he'll call and he'll be like, "Zach, it's eight. How are you? In, how are you in bed?" I'll be like, "I got to get up at four. Like, what do you mean?" Do you know about Bob? I don't. I don't know. Like you Bob, ask, the, Bob the Goon, or no, a Bronco? No, 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 no. Bob. Ask, ask Bronco about Bob. Okay, I'll ask. He's got him. some. Uh, it, that was probably the best time of my life was being on FaceTime with Bronco and Bob. You've got to ask Bronco about Bob. I can't even imagine. There, there, some of the things that Bronco has told me, the fact that he, one, is still alive, and two, he doesn't have a book written about him already, is it blows my mind. He does. It's just called a rap sheet. <laughs> there you go. Um, Drake Braddock is in the chat room, uh, Flexor, and he's uh, he says there's a fun story about the first time uh, he met you at BOW repping. You tell him to tell it. Why isn't he on here? <laughs> I, did, I didn't know that would trigger a memory for you, or it was. In here, oh, so. I'm I'm on the I'm on the video chat. Okay, I'm I'm trying to read these comments. I'm I'm seeing like uh, barely anything. Oh, that's that's yes. Well, he's over in the different chat room. He's over on my watch party. What? Oh my gosh! I was in the watch. I'm in. I was in the watch along. I think I'm still in the watch along. I'm on the like the live and. Whoa. Damn you, Sorgan! You're so many different. We're yeah, we're on like two Facebooks. We're on uh, Periscope. We're on Twitch right now. So so all the gamers are watching us. So all all over the place. Uh, Later we'll put this up on Two PW's OnlyFans accounts. Yes, you yes. Can subscribe well, to that. Well, like oh, here's a good here's a good a question. Month. I was actually thinking about this earlier. If you had a Patreon, Ryan Die, right? What would be the Let's just we'll limit it to three. Three things you would offer, and what would their price points be? Ah, uh, it's a good workshop. It's I really ought to think about that. That's a whole lot. You asking me to come up with a whole business strategy in the span of thirty seconds? Well, it's five, not going to be very good. Uh, okay, uh, for a five dollar mark, he weight shames you. Yeah. Uh, it's got at five dollars. Uh, you get pictures of my feet, but I still have shoes on. Oh God. Uh, at ten dollars, you get pictures of me and someone else's underwear. Uh, How much know. to be a How lab does... assistant? How much to be a lab assistant? Uh, uh, you mean experiment? You mean sixteen dollars? Yeah, I was gonna say you mean experiment subject. That sounds sounds great. How much would you pay to be his experiment subject? Me? Yes. I mean, it you remind least... me of a guy of experiment. I'm gonna need two hot dogs for that one. <laughs> Do they have to be hot dogs? Hot dogs aren't extinct can, yet. We can still we can't, his wiener. Can it be we like? Can't, a, <laughs> we can't shake hands anymore. All the my price is going up. So no more handshakes. So it's hot well, dog yeah, and another hot dog. You know, there's something. Why don't we discuss that? We're going to set precedent moving forward. So we can no longer shake hands. What what should we do instead? Even Kiss the flexor, on the lips. Even the flexor <laughs> shake is going to be outlawed. Oh, yeah. Kiss yeah. on the lips. No more palm tickling. What are you gonna do? Tickle that bee hole. We should, <laughs> we should we headbutt each other. That's still physical contact, I guess. It's just gonna be the. How about we just say hi to each other, and then we just leave at the end of the night without go. saying goodbye or without. We have our face mask. Put on. stuff up. Oh. Hello. Oh, we're gonna kiss with face masks. I'm not terribly comfortable with that. <laughs> Sounds like Professor a little bit Ryan died. Ryan Dye, are you an essential worker? <laughs> no. Do I look... I mean, my work is essential to mankind. I am developing, like, the greatest and latest breakthroughs, but it's it's not like I'm getting paid for it. And they only sometimes no. kill people. I love it. Mm -hmm. Squirrel Hill, what are we sometimes. talking about? 
As soon as we go off the air, I need to hear what this actually is. Yes. No, you don't. <laughs> I mean, Warhol doesn't. Re- I'm gonna Warhol's ask. Real. Him. I'm gonna ask him, Ryan. Well, guys, we are actually it's, ahead. You really should it. The end of our time here. Um, where could be? Are, are there? Is there anywhere anybody uh, people can support you guys right now? Challenge me on League of Legends so you can lose like a noob. That's, there you go. That's, even if it's a, a even if it's a mental help to you guys. I am on Twitter at die Ryan die. My first name, no, my last name, then my first name, then my last name again. Nicholas and I believe Krynock. I'm also on I, Nicholas Krynock. I don't know who that is. That man's dead. I don't know him. I've never heard of him before. <laughs> just Shut up. Search, Instagram. Shut just up. Search search Nicholas Krynock Squirrel Hill. <laughs> <laughs> you'll find it in the police database oh flex are you want to plug no, anything um everyone knows where to find me i mean outside their windows chess flex are on all social media um i need to make a pro wrestling tease store because that's a thing to do i should have probably had it a while ago you have a lot of t-shirt Good. designs so you're ready to go yeah. so there you go. Um, and also uh, with Indie Wrestling US, uh, a lot of the guys that we have are there. And uh, I think I think maybe Flexor, we might have sent you one. I'm not sure. Uh, but we have discount codes for the guys. If you want to support uh, the wrestlers that are represented on this show, uh, those codes will be in the show notes here. And that will give you 10% off uh, items over at IndieWrestling.us. And it gives back to uh, the wrestler is something that we're doing here to help everybody out uh, during uh, the quarantine and COVID situation because you can't really get out and do anything, right, right now. So, uh, uh, you know, help you guys out uh, in this downtime. So please go check that out. Chest, uh, Ryan, I almost said the other name, <laughs> Zach. <laughs> there is no other name. It's How right did you here. do that? Right There's here. only Nicholas Kreinroth here. <laughs> no, that man's dead. He never existed. I'm, I'm going to have T-shirts for the next show, guys. <laughs> all profits go to the all profits go to the squirrel hill victims yes <laughs> thank you so much everybody right, until that's... next time please support indie wrestling and please support each other's sanity out there and fuck that ginger little kid son of a bitch <laughs> I smacked his mother upside her head This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.